Let's start with some of the things that I have on top of here. First we have some of the pamphlets. And this pamphlets, these pamphlets include, can I say the name of all of this? I guess I can. I didn't think about that uh, that aspect. Well, let's do it this way. This pamphlet talks about the battery. This next pamphlet also talks about the battery. sense since this is a flying device so gotta have the guidelines then 
This is like a warranty type thing. in here. Is this. And this helps you put the propellers onto the quadcopter. So I'll show you how this works. When I first got it, I forgot that this was in there and I needed it so bad because I was trying to put the propellers on you can do that, but this makes it so much more beneficial. So you see how it's shaped. This part goes around the thick part on the um, propeller. I'll show you. But it kind of reminds me of like chopsticks, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> see some other accessories. Okay, so this is the main charger to the drone.
this into the USB port of your MacBook or your um, whatever system that you're using. It doesn't have to be a MacBook. I have an iMac. Team iMac. But anyways, you plug it in to charge this up. With the drum, you have these four parts here where the propellers will go. Here is where the battery is. And it's always hard to get it out sometimes. There we go. Amen. 
as soon as I was finished flying, you know. So I had one of those already. And on the camera, they have a little guard to protect the lens. to keep it still and then we're going to twist the propeller in the direction to lock it and for this particular one to lock it is clockwise so that would be this way or this way so first I just do that to let it go down then turn it make sure it's tight then once it's tight and I feel like it's secure then I'm done and I can move on to the next propeller. Okay, so. All right. Let's put on the black one here to the right. For this one, it's the opposite. To lock it, we want to go counterclockwise. So, first, I'll just kind of swing that around. And now I'm going to put this on. Hold it here, and then continue to twist to make sure it's locked. Okay, now it's locked. Well, let me get a little bit tighter. <laughs> okay, that's good. Sometimes I question how tight I should have it. You know, some things you can make too tight, and it almost strips it, and I don't want to do that, but it, I definitely want it to be tight, because the last thing I things I want is for one of the propellers to be too loose and then when it's up one two three four hundred feet in the air and flying far that a propeller comes popping off that would be disaster disaster <laughs> all right flip this around two more so Again, to lock the black ones is counterclockwise. Okay, put this here. Let's turn it. All right. Mm hmm. That's tight. All right. Last one. nice and tight. 
but not too, too tight. Okay. And there we go. The quadcopter now has its wings. <laughs> now, the last thing I want to show you is just a couple accessories that I bought to make this entire experience um, more enjoyable. And, and it actually, is a couple of these things were necessities. So let me show you. Okay. First of all, I bought an extra battery. Okay, because the flight time on a single battery for this model is like 25 minutes. That's not that long. So I got an extra battery to double that time to around 50 minutes. And that's long enough. So basically, accessory one was a case to put my phone in so that it could shield some of the glare from the Sun however I don't know it didn't really seem like it did too much <laughs> I'll have to use it again I took it out the first time but I didn't take it out the second
this drone in terms of how to operate it, what all the lights mean, the stuff. Okay.